Hello, hello. I believe we are live. Let me just double check real quick. Hello, hello. Hey, what's up, everyone? Got some viewers. Can you hear me okay? Check, check, one, two. Say hi in the chat if you're tuning in. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Todd Anderson. You might know me as the, the host of WordHack, but I also do some uh, some of my own own work which i think these streams are largely going to be about um and we're gonna mostly be be showing off a uh, a chrome extension i've been working on for the past couple years uh which is called hitchhiker so we can get it at toddwords.com slash get hitchhiker Alrighty, uh, so you can uh, add it to Chrome right here. Uh, when you open it up, I'll bring up my uh, my other browser here so you can take a look. Um, so when you'll get this thumb menu, and then you'll see the room for tonight's performance is mail. You can just click that, and then you'll be taken into the room. And then you can hop on and say, Hi everyone. This is my, my alter ego, Gary. Um, and okay. we'll see if, if this is the, the right page. Um, I correctly in mail. Okay. And see if we have any any other people in here. We'll get started in a in a second here, but gonna give some people some time uh to filter in, get connected. Uh I've got a really exciting presentation for you around the subject of mail. Uh you enjoy mail as much as I do, then uh, I think you're gonna, gonna really like this one. Um, so we can probably get started in the, uh, the particular um, particular occasion for this performance. Pop on over to probably gonna want your sound for this one.
let's mute this one. And uh, I'm going to get started in a minute here. I'm going to see if we have anyone else to join us. But... Right. Yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, so we've got our, our dancing mailboxes here, who are kind of the uh, the big uh, the big focus this this past weekend. Uh, so there was a big moment of anticipation as all the mail in ballots were being counted and uh, was shifting Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania in particular, from uh, from red to blue. There was a lot of uh, excitement around the concept of mail and. Uh, uh, and mailboxes. Um, listen to that jam again. Um, that really uh, brought me to like, how much do we really think about our our post office system? Um, how many facts do we really know? Do you know very many of these facts? Like, did you know that? The post office is an essential public service. Postal office. Uh, United States post office shall be operated as a basic and fundamental service. Do you know there are 2.1 million downloads of the post office? Do you know that the post office delivers most of its mail on Mule? Do you, you know... know that I have an echo. Cool. Haha, <laughs> echo. Echo is gone. Um, I am now broadcasting my voice on Hitchhiker as well. Hopefully, you'll stop in and say hey. Um, but yeah, uh, do you know the first Postmaster General was John Hundred Dollar Bill, uh, who was actually a cabinet member? And uh, do you know you can preview digital mail? Did you know that 232 of post office employees are heroes? School year 2019. 232 heroic employees and 7,692 cowards. Zero tax dollars. No tax dollars for the post office. Can't, can't be spared. They all need to go to the Pentagon. This one was really interesting to me when I saw that earlier. 174 robotic systems. Post office has the largest gantry robotic fleet in the world, using 174 robotic systems to move 314,000 mail trays per day. And when I saw this, when I, when I first read about this, that really made me think of my favorite robotic mail system. Maybe. But I think we need to find our last clue. The mail's here. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. mail. Here's your letter. Thanks. We just got a letter. 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 Wonder who it's from. It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a bitch! What? It's me, Austin! It was me all along, Austin! Damn. It's a letter from yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, hey, 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 cry, cry mall. Hey, hey, Sociana uh, Good to see you. There's, there's actually a, a whole genre here of, uh, of uh, Steve from Blue's Clues opening the letter and then different things being in there. Um, there's another good one here. I can hop over to you. Thanks, Mailbox. We just got a letter. 
We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from? Hello. Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. Um, but I really wanted to bring it back to uh, the main focus uh, for this evening, who is the, the hero of Blue's Clues, uh, and that is Mailbox. Mailbox is a, uh, yeah, a robotic animatronic mail delivery service who uh, really hops right in, makes sure those mail-in ballots are counted. Uh, just kidding. He, he makes sure Stephen Blue uh, got a letter. And he's uh, one of the more popular anthropomorphized uh, mailboxes in, uh, in history. And one thing we have for you here is... Um, Mailbox, I, I hate to break it to you, is actually this adult man. Uh, this is an adult man named Michael Rubin, uh, who's actually one of the composers of all the music on, uh, on Blue's Clues. But uh, he is also the voice of Mailbox. We can uh, take a look here at some of his, uh, some of his many works. Uh, I'm... Thinking my scroll here uh, for people following along. Um, yeah, as you can see, he mostly worked on uh, on children's programs. We've got Blue's Clues, Blue's Room, Jack's Big Music Show, Mickey Mouse uh, Clubhouse. And uh, we can also see that uh, there's a show called it's Bubble Guppies. For... And let's freeze here. So this is the theme song for Bubble Guppies which is played at the start of every Bubble Guppies episode. And what is the first thing you see on that Bubble Guppies theme song? You see a mailbox. It's time for... <laughs> Read it! It says, it's time for Bubble Guppies! So there's no reason there needed to be a mailbox and a piece of mail to inform you that it was time for bubble guppies. Uh, the very idea of having uh, having some envelopes underwater uh, was uh, a little uh, fanciful here. But so deep is Michael Rubin's love of the American post office and mail in general that he just couldn't help putting a mailbox at the start of this show. And you think that might be the limit of the patriotism of this mailbox hero. Uh, actually, let's take a look, another look at this, this, heroic, this heroic person, supporter of the post in all its forms. Uh, but yeah, there's even a whole song and episode about mail. What about that sticker that goes in the corner? That's called a... That's called a... A stamp. It's a stamp. Right, a stamp. You were right, you were so, right. once we have the name, address, and a stamp on the envelope, our invitation is ready to mail. Neat, huh? Super neat. Sing it, girl. Thinking and this to be a today. deeply moving song. Thinking you're far away. Thinking about what I'd say if you were here. Send you one, two. Packages in the box, devil cards for chicken pox, birthday 
I agree, Crymal. This is definitely a bop. How amazing is it that that song we just heard, Mail, Mail, Send Me a Letter, that was written by Mailbox. That was written by the Mailbox from Blue's Clues. How many, just like, how many amazing children's songs about mail can one person create? The answer is at least three, if you count. Uh, we just got a letter and mail time as separate songs, which I do. Uh, yeah, this uh, just really feel like Michael Rubin is underrecognized for his contributions to the post office and uh, support for mail in general. Um, got another another picture. This I mean, he just seems like a, a solid dude hanging out, uh, hanging out by the woods. Um. Oh, we got Bobo Castles in the chat. Ghostwriter had to explain email to kids, but in this era, uh, um, we have to explain what mail is. That totally makes sense. We've gone the other way. Kids intuitively understand email, but physical mail? What is a stamp? What is an address? Why are there spaces in it? That's what uh, Michael Rubin is here to teach you about. So thanks, Michael Rubin. Whoa, shout out to the real fans. song we were just um oh okay she hates bubble guppies i'm sorry for for showing that um so this is uh um this song we were just listening to is uh i got a lot of the songs i play on uh on hitchhiker from freesound.org uh, a really sensational uh website with all kinds of uh all kinds of free songs and sound effects and stuff like that and uh that song we were just listening to is the first hit for the search mail song but yeah so all these uh all these questions uh all the all these thoughts about a uh, mailbox about uh uh robotic mail mail systems um really had me wondering just His mailbox from Blue's Clues, the best mailbox of all time. This is what uh, this webpage is really uh, making me ask. Is mailbox from Blue's Clues the best mailbox of all time? And really, to answer this question, we're going to need to look for the best mailboxes of all time. Um, here we have the best-selling mailboxes, maybe not of all time, but of right now. Um, we've got, see, we've got, uh, the Gibraltar mailboxes. Oh, look, we've got a couple different colors here. Um, people really like locks on their mailboxes. Uh, understandable. You don't want people to steal your mail. Um, let's see what people have to say about this mailbox. Overall, I'm happy with this. I like the look and the size. For the price, it's the best I could do, I guess. Cons, 
Three of the lid rub against the wall when opened. Over time, this will rub away the finish and lead to rusting. Dumb flaw. Also read the fine print. It isn't meant to be exposed to rain, which is really dumb for a mailbox. I'll certainly have to replace it after a year or two. Finally, it would have been nice if they include screws for mounting. That's a lot of cons for one mailbox. Junk. Though this mailbox looks decent enough from a distance, it is, in fact, cheaply made. The metal is thin and bends and scratches easily. The mail insignia is a plastic stick-on. One flimsy rivet holds both the top and the locking slot and moves stiffly. I could probably rip it off with my hand. The inside was only partially painted. Half was black, half bare silver metal. The locking top is a joke since anyone could tear the whole box off the wall. Uh, taking down my ancient box, I realized how heavy and well-made it was, so I planned to sand it down, repaint it, and then put it up and throw the new one away. 45 people found this helpful. I wouldn't recommend it. 1. Poor quality of lock. 2. Quality of paint is horrible. No screws, no instructions included. 9 by 12 thin envelopes won't fit. Lots of problems with this best-selling, highly-rated mailbox. Hmm. Where do we turn next? Maybe we need to uh, seek out an expert's opinion. The 10 Best Mailboxes by Brandon Hubbard. Updated September 24th, 2020, so we know we are getting the most recent mailboxes. From this guy. He's a licensed architect. Let's see, his top pick is Mailboss 7506. Hmm. He also reviews top 10 wireless doorbells and top 10 outdoor motion sensor lights. Um, ooh, we have a message in the chat. Uh, there are the mailboxes that filled with con can be filled with concrete. Oh, they fill with concrete to teach kids a lesson. Totally. Uh, they knock them over with the, try and knock them over with their car. A classic mailbox prank. Got a couple, um, seems like uh, our boy Brandon Hubbard here really likes these uh, heavy metal locking secure mailboxes. Uh, this could be a list of the safest mailboxes. Got some locks, um, got some black metal here. Uh, kind of getting in there with some patterns here. Uh, let's see. Large capacity, people receiving small to medium size. Um, oh, that's funny. These all have a, a link to buy on Amazon. Um, feels very similar to the Amazon bestseller list. So this is a funny one. Mailmaster Plus mailbox. Looks like a little, a little mailbox. Like, you could kind of see this, uh, uh, this little plastic mailbox. You could imagine this being three inches tall. Um, I imagine it's, it's full-sized, but it really looks like a, like, a, like a Playmobil piece a little bit. Um, okay, moving some stream things around. Um, yeah, I, I really think this, I can't believe this is really on the uh, top 10 mailbox list, TBH. Uh, finally, we got a non-black mailbox. Um, and this one's kind of ostentatious, but made by a family business. Um, but yeah, uh, I, let's see, actually, one of my most interested in of these, this one's pretty gaudy. Uh, I kind of like this just classic mailbox. And uh, one thing I can teach you to recognize on here, um, if we look at my link here at the top, I remember back in my early days of uh, being in various dark spots of the internet, uh, we'd see a lot of Amazon affiliate links. Here we can see tag equals the arcs guy 0720. Um, so uh, our buddy Brandon Hubbard skimming a little on the off the top here, um, and uh, getting referrals. So I don't know. Seems like a bit of a a biased 
uh, Raider and that he's going to have a bias towards uh, Amazon available mailboxes. I think we need to keep looking. Maybe we're not looking for a product. Maybe we're looking for a, a singular mailbox. Maybe we're looking for the black mailbox in Alamo, Nevada. Here's some pictures. So apparently the black mailbox is less important as a mailbox, but it's more of a the most visible and agreed upon meeting place outside of Area 51. So uh, it's just a lot of people interested in UFO sightings uh, gather around this mailbox. Um, and uh, you can see it's owned by this rancher. Uh, it's constructed of thick bulletproof metal and sh shuttered with massive padlocks uh, to keep uh, alien hunting fanatics from stealing his, his mail. Uh, um, so after uh, too much mail uh, was for aliens was going to him, he added a separate Dropbox for aliens, people to drop mail into. Pretty good. January 2015, the black mailbox was stolen, but it's now back after a series of replacements. Uh, that's pretty, pretty exciting. So this is, this is a good one. Uh, it has some significance to a community, but it feels very much uh, more, of a, more of a cult classic mailbox than, uh, than perhaps a, a best one. But I think we should probably keep going. And... Uh, Maybe the real issue here is that we're looking too much at mailboxes and not enough at the buildings that house them. Um, so maybe we, we should widen our search to post offices. Here's the 10 best post offices in Brooklyn, New York. Great. Um, so this is the one that's uh, closest to me. Uh, here's some photos. Uh, there's a person running a mail cart over a fence. There's a post office. There's a trash can. Someone's mailbox is outside their house. There's a plant. Uh, some mail on the ground. Big line. Big line. That's a letter. That's a destroyed package. That's uh, the middle finger. Uh, there's some mail. Uh, there's some mail missing the mailbox. Um, really kind of comes through that uh, very few of these photos are photos of the actual post office. And mostly just protest places for people to post when um, their mail isn't delivered correctly. Um, wow. Uh, here's the users of Yelp.com really don't appreciate the post office. I wonder how much of this is just like a it being in an urban center and um, just uh, they're not being the proper space for a post office to run efficiently in uh, in New York City. So I, I went to look up my uh, my hometown post office in Oak Park, Illinois. Um, here we go. So we've got. So this post office is was like just like a really nice big building. I remember it having great architecture and design inside. Uh, what it looks like on the outside, very very formal and 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 good. Surely this must be a highly rated post office. No, it is not. Just one and a half stars. Apparently, service is just too bad. Poor experience. But also, people like to go to Yelp to complain about things they cannot control. Man, really, really having a tough search for the best mailbox and the best post office. Um, yeah, I agree. What, what could be more heartless than uh, 
giving post office employees uh, a, a bad rating um, when people's tune changes so fast when uh, they turn out to be uh, uh, really essential. Um, does anyone else in the in the chat wanna wanna look up their local post office or want to uh, give me a a city or area to uh, look up a post office in? Do you have a claim to being one of the top post offices? this searching uh, made me kind of hungry and ready to uh, take a little little break here. Um, I'm going to just uh, hop out and maybe go grab a slice. Um, oh yeah, there's the Magnet Theater where I used to take some classes and do improv there. But uh, let's just go for, go for a little walk here. up 8th Avenue. Uh, a little overcast, but not so bad out. And here we are. My favorite pizza place in New York. It's NY Pizza Suprema. And oh man, what a good pizza place. I'll give you a, a sense of it here. Gonna need to speed run here. Um, I assume that photo is pre-COVID. Some really good, some really good slices. Uh, the best thing, though, I think I got to bring up a photo of it here. Is yeah, this one here. We got. Um, this is uh, my favorite thing that they do, which is the upside down slice, where instead of just like tomato sauce, you get a base layer of cheese, and then you get like a fresh tomato topping uh, and some basil on, on top of it. Very tasty, kind of garlicky, uh, nice crunchy crust. Uh, really, really high quality um, slice of pizza. Uh, oh man, wow, what a, what a good one. Um, I guess now that we're we're full of pizza, can go continue to to walk around. And oop, I I got stuck in Pennsylvania Station. Uh, let's get back on the street. There we go. Going up the street, there's NY Pizza Suprema. Keep walking. What is this glorious building with classical architecture on our left? Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor Gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. <gasps> Is this a post office? Dun, dun, dun. What an inspiring inscription, nice big columns, great stairs to hang out on. Maybe this is the location of the, of the, of the best post office or the best mailbox. But 
Man, what an inspiring slogan. I wonder if that's the, the real motto of the, of the post office. So the motto of the postal service. Two postal tributes chiseled in stone. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. While the postal service has no official motto, the popular belief that it does is a tribute to America's postal workers. The words above, thought to be the motto, are chiseled in gray granite over the entrance to the New York City Post Office on 8th Avenue. Come from Book 8, Paragraph 98 of the Persian Wars by Herodotus. During the wars during the, between the Greeks and Persians, the Persians operated a system of mounted postal carriers who served with great fidelity. So, assumed to be uh, the motto of the Postal Service. That made me want to uh, learn a little more uh, about this Herodotus character. So I googled around and found this, uh, uh, this slideshow here uh, with a lot of uh, valuable information. So uh, Herodotus, the first true historian known in Western civilization, lived during the Classical Age. The earliest Western author known to have written a systematic investigation of the past. Um, Herodotus' life uh, was a merchant and a traveler, spent some time in Athens. Um, the nature of his histories, a jumble of fact and fable, like a parent telling bedtime stories. Modern historians in the Victorian period dubbed him the father of history and lies. Father of History and Lies. Father. Father of History and Lies. This is being verified in the chat. Um, could this be the source of all of the talk of post office fraud that we've been hearing about? because it all stems back to the father of history and lies. Could it be? It feels like this post office, while looking good, it's just a little too risky for our purposes. Nope. Gotta say nope. But... And I think that only leaves mailbox as the one true best mailbox in all the world. <laughs> We are so proud of you, Mailbox. You're the best Mailbox. Okay. Thank you so much. That's the end of my presentation about mail. Congratulations to Mailbox on winning the award of Best Mailbox. Oh, we've got a we've got a brother getting into trouble with some mailboxes. Got to watch out there. Um, so again, this uh this was a performance largely done. All these uh, effects and and things are are done via Hitchhiker. And right now, most of you are watching on Twitch, but you could be experiencing this in your own browsers, which would be pretty fun. And if you'd like to try that out at some point in the future, you can go to toddwords.com slash get hitchhiker, which will bring you right over um, this page. 
now that we uh, we know the the best mailbox, um, I feel like I can just show you some some other other general uh, things about about mail. And really, I feel like to this point, I have for a presentation about mail focused perhaps a little too much on physical uh, physical mail, um, when in fact uh, what really matters the most is probably uh probably email strongbad underscore email dot exe answer dear strongbad why don't you and the chief pull a caper of some sort it seems like there's been little cooperation between the two of you as of late james detroit me well you're right and it's no secret that the chief and i haven't been getting along very well since he screwed up our last caper I don't care about the crosswords, man. Just the jumbles, the jumbles. I don't know. Go look over there. Look out! Oh, great, man. Hey, strong, sad Batman. What are you guys doing in my house? We've been ID'd. Every man for himself. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Thanks for breaking my cow lamp. Thanks for breaking my cheat, challenge. man. Where did we go wrong? Seems like just yesterday we were setting fire to Strong Sad's underwears. That was yesterday. This one's for you. I got mad at the cheat. Uh, for screwing up the jumble caper. Uh, I hope I don't see his name in the paper. In the obituary. Cause that would mean he's dead, the cheat is not dead. I'm so glad the cheat is not dead, the cheat is not dead. Oh, I'm so glad the cheat is not dead, the cheat is not dead. So glad the cheat is not Just the claps! Just the claps! Strong side, I didn't know you had any rhythm. Well sure, I got tons of rhythm. Keep it rolling for me, guys. Keep it rolling. The cheat, I... I just wanted to say that. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Oh, how about a little kick for old time's sake? No, I'm just kidding, man. What? I went... No. What that? Oh. What do we know? I had you there. Yeah. If uh, for the uninitiated, this is a strong bad email. Strong bad. This guy with the boxing gloves. You guys are so cute. Man, I should probably Let's get some emails. or something. What is it like three in the afternoon? Also, looking good, Holmes. All to get political yeah, a little deal? bit. I didn't know you had to shave. Oh, I don't. It's cinnamon. It's got a little political. Uh, all of these, uh, all of these pieces currently run on Flash, um, and Flash is going to stop being supported by the end of the year. So uh, uh, there's a real, real peril uh, to the actual uh, uh, the archive of uh, strong bad emails and Homestar Runner. So um, I, I assume someone is is working on that, but um, that's the thing. This will no longer be supported in its original form. Uh, over two months from now. Uh, email. Strong bad email. What else can I tell you about email? Great. <laughs> this is from a recent Baby Castles um, workshop from Char Styles. Twelve and very into charge. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, also archive on... Oh, no, yeah. If no one's working on it, we should work on it. Okay. All right, so we're all here. We're all watching the stream. Let's get excited about email. But why? After all, email, like many of the technologies we use today, um, is a wartime tool. It was made for the ARPANET, commissioned kind of by DARPA, by, uh, and it was made by Roy Tomlinson, who's working at uh, what is now known as Raytheon, or Raytheon? It's like, like, it basically is like, like a Raytheon. Department of Defense Research. 
Um, and so, you know, that's the kind of like email has a dark past where it comes from like, you know, military uh, um, uh, research. But uh, in an interview of Roy Tomlinson, he, the inventor, the inventor of email, he said that he wasn't actually supposed to be working on email. He was actually supposed to be working on uh, right here. This is a quote by him. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, he's supposed to be working on AI stuff to figure out ways of where humans and machines can interact. Big block of text, but uh, yeah, email started in the military with uh, Ray, Ray Tomlinson, as uh, many technologies do. And uh, it, it quickly grew up and uh, started being used by Enron. And uh, Enron uh, was... Uh, Enron was one of the landmark companies of the Bush era in the United States. It was an energy trading company. Their specialty was in the idea that they were going to make money by creating markets for different kinds of and amounts of energy. They would be able to arbitrage price differences between energy markets, which sounds very innovative and in some ways was very innovative, but it also turned out to be a fantastic cover for engaging in many, many kinds of financial manipulation. Their entire operation collapsed in scandal, one of the largest corporate scandals in American history in 2003. Enron was being investigated by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and the FERC had accumulated um, hours and hours of trading floor phone calls. They had accumulated thousands of pages of scanned documents. They had accumulated many different kinds of archives. But most important, although it didn't necessarily appear to be at first, they also had the entire body of Enron internal email, the Enron corpus. So the full body of email uh, of Enron uh was seized in these lawsuits and that's where we get to this project called the good life by uh, sam levine and take a brain uh where you can have all of the emails of enron um hello and welcome to the enron email simulator uh we can have all the emails uh of enron sent to you over seven years 14 years or 28 years um it's uh it's pretty wild you got a lot of emails uh from enron and uh i can actually show you a little bit of this because i happen to be receiving emails from enron right now normally i'm uh embarrassed to show my email inbox but uh we can take a look in here um these are all the emails from enron that i get uh so we're in the FERC update so additional information on the FERC hearing today Commissioner has asked for staff on what basis the commission could take remedial action. Okay, what's up? Call me soon. I'm not a broker. Let's go hunting again. I know the game warden is at the other end of the county that day, JC. Diesel fuel storage tanks in Los Angeles. Piece together some initial information on the prospects of installing diesel fuel storage tanks in the Los Angeles area. Can we just. Hang out on that for a second. Diesel fuel storage tanks. Diesel fuel storage. Diesel fuel storage tanks. Diesel fuel storage tanks. Diesel fuel storage tanks. Diesel fuel storage tanks. Uh, so you can get lots of emails from Enron. Um, they can tell you a lot of stuff. Um, everyone, password request. Uh, yep, there's a password request. Someone's password. 2001, 2002, winter capacity. Pretty good. Uh, if you want to have emails like this in your inbox, uh, you could uh, sign up over here, uh, where all the text now says diesel fuel storage tanks. Uh, but enron.email is the, is the website for that one. What else can I... Uh, can I tell you about uh, about email? Oh, I have maybe a, a music video I can show you. In an interview. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Let's see. You may have noticed that we all love to be together. 
Cause when we live together, give together, when we trade, believe and explore together, we all achieve so much more together. Because together, we've made economies grow, supply chains flow, 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 flow. Not just plane, crane, train, ship and road. But by data, blockchain, chip and code. Working with our customers across the globe. Making trade more simple. Yeah. Digital, visible, trackable. Traceable, flexible, end to endable. And dependable. Cause that's always been part of our DNA. Like think of tomorrow, do it today. And if it's worth doing, Like pioneers with new ideas, new industries and new careers, expanding trade across new frontiers. Which reminds us, yeah. Borders and oceans don't divide us; they connect us to each other's lives, livelihoods, dreams, and ambitions, as well as our goods. Connecting customers and communities in a world of opportunities seamlessly, digitally, physically, together. That baby Elon Musk Reinventing there. how we import with each other, export with we each other. We don't have to listen to all this, but we can reinvent how we import and export with each other. So, yeah, if you couldn't really uh, get a sense. This is from Maersk. So this is a music video for a uh, container shipping tracking company. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing in that context. We we just leave it running in the background while we browse other. this website. It's not just in times of emergency or adversity, but, but always. always. So, so we, we can, can each unleash the power of, of our diversity. diversity. Because integration beats isolation and leads to innovation, collaboration, co-creation, cross-pollination. Like when digitalization met containerization. Right? Like when digitalization met containerization. I really love uh, high-budget corporate videos. Uh, Things are they're real, real delight to experience. Um, yeah, so this is a, this is a good one, and uh, I feel like it's pretty on theme because uh, supply chains are kind of like mail for corporations. Uh, it's just a just a bunch of people mailing stuff, and then if you are the best at mailing, uh, then your stock price goes up, or or so I've heard. Um, but I really do like the uh, uh, reference to this as uh, hip hop for econ majors. That uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, emails, 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 mail. So I have a, a special thing to show you in about five minutes, but until we get there, maybe over to maybe go back to the physical mail a little bit. Um, oh, no, actually, I know what I can do. Um, let me bring this up real quick. Um, I've got time to show a, a little piece that I did from a while ago, but it's on the topic of mail and email. It's a piece called Letter Home. And I am just performing this by mashing the keys. <laughs> 